Now, more of your letters in Points of View. Good evening. Now, what's been happening in the last week on television? Well, unless you've been hiding under a rock, you and the rest of the country will be asking the question, who shot J.R.? Mrs. Shockerwick from Barnes has an idea. Did you know that many people believe leaving money to charity in their will is something only very rich or famous people do? I can't say I'd ever thought about it. Well, it simply isn't true. But what does that have to do with Dallas, Mrs. Shockerwick? Whether you're Stick of the Dump or J.R. Ewing, every single person could leave a gift in their will. Though I'm guessing it might be too late for J.R. Indeed. P.S. It was Kristen, his sister-in-law, who shot him. Apologies for the spoiler. Shh. Moving swiftly on, tonight some of you are also concerning yourselves with Doctor Who. Who, as I'm sure you all know, regenerated back onto our screens this week with a new series and a new face. Mr. Black Cheese from Bedford had this to say. Why, oh, why, oh, why? Shouldn't that be who, oh, who, oh, who, Mr. Black Cheese? No. Why, oh, why, oh, why do most people in the UK assume that you can't leave money in your will to your family, as well as your favourite charity? I've really no idea. Well, Barry, it's not true. After taking care of your loved ones, you can do both. And it doesn't have to be money you leave to charity. It can be a small percentage of your estate, a herd of cows, or even... A police box? Too shy, Barry. Why, thank you. P.S. I've always found you rather attractive, Barry. And if you ever find yourself in Bedford... Uh... <coughs> <coughs> now, where were we? Few things have got you writing in as much as ITV's new quiz show, Play Your Cards Right, with Bruce Forsyth. Here's what Mrs. Goodlook from Slough had to say. Were you aware that most people believe that leaving a small gift in your will to your favourite cause won't make any difference? I'm afraid I wasn't aware. The truth is, when combined with other people's gifts, it could make a huge difference. In fact, many charities wouldn't exist if it were not for gifts left in wills. Good point. And what do points make, Barry? Prizes! Or gifts, large or small amounts left to any charity in a will really could make all the difference. Didn't she do well? And whilst we're on the subject, if it is quiz shows you hunger for, then Channel 4's Countdown could have you wanting more. Might have been a bit much for Mr. Lax Panther of Bristol, though. Wednesday's episode of Countdown was so complicated I felt dizzy. I've never been one for thinking about numbers. That was until I decided to finally make my will. I was worried it would be as complicated as one of Carol's conundrums. Carol's conundrums? Yes. Instead, Barry, it was a cinch. I could also include my favourite charity really easily and felt such a sense of relief and accomplishment after I'd completed it. Good for you. Glad it was so easy. And you didn't confuse your probate with your testator or you would have had to have implemented your codicil. Don't be a clever dick, Barry. Sorry. We'll be back soon for more of your letters. Until then, from all of us, goodbye. If you would like to pass on something wonderful, please remember a charity in your will. <laughs>